500 degrees, 50% of the neutral plane, every 18 degrees the energy of the fire doubles. It's not every minute, it's all about temperature, right? It's all about energy. So that's some of the different things that we want to be talking about. All right, so there's our firefighter, there's that, shredded documents, they go there, okay? So, one piece of carpet has absolutely no water on it, okay? Now this piece of carpet, I'm going to soak it pretty good. So I'm going to put moisture on this piece of carpet. Alright, and what, what that's going to show is that's going to show you the importance of reach of the stream. Oxygen, fuel, heat, chemical chain reaction. How I want you to look at that is either it's flaming combustion or it's smoldering combustion. Oxygen, fuel, and heat, that's going to be smoldering combustion. Chemical chain reaction, that's going to be that snowball coming down the mountain. Okay? Look at it like that. Is I want you to start watching the fire change gears. Just like when you pull up on that scene and you see doors open up, you see windows open up, you're going to see it changing gears. It's all about energy of the fire. Okay? It's all about temperature. So every 18 degrees. We're on top of the snowball right now, correct? And now we're starting to come down the mountain. You're seeing this from a room away. There's no reason, there's no reason at all you should be right here seeing this, right? You should be killing this from a room away. Now, look at how we're changing, look at how fast the smoke's traveling. Mm -hmm. Volume, velocity, density, and color, some things that, that Dave Dawson talks about. You can see how fast it's traveling. Now, I'm gonna kill it, I'm gonna take the action away. For our guys with the camera, all right, I'm going to close it right here, but for the folks with the thermal camera, through the visual eye, okay, look through your visual eye. Through your visual eye, all you're going to yeah. see oh, yeah. is smoke from the ceiling down to the floor through the visual eye. But with the camera, you're going to know exactly where to put the moisture. 100% you'll know exactly where to put it, okay? So here we go. We open it. And looking through there, all you see is smoke, but through the camera, you know exactly where to put the yeah, moisture, don't you? Corner. Isn't that great? Yeah. On the camera now, when I open the door, what's going to happen is the camera's going to, the, the smoke's going to look like fire when I open it. Here we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you see how I was igniting underneath the overhang? Mm -hmm. I'm igniting right underneath there. Okay. And there we go. So you're able to see that take place. And remember, we don't want that rollover taking place over our heads, do we? We want to kill that. We want to kill that before it gets to that point. Look how fast we're changing gears. All right, I'm going to put some moisture into the building now. Watch. Watch what happens. Moisture in, moisture in. Changing it, changing it. Changing that environment. You can look at it on the camera. You can look at it visually. You can see that we're changing that environment. So we'll put a little bit of moisture inside there. Right now, what does this fire need? It needs oxygen or an ignition source. All right. What we're going to end up starting to do here is a ventilation-induced flashover. When we say backdraft, there's structural damage. All right, so backdraft. Backdraft is structural damage. Look at it like that. Ventilation-induced flashover. We open the door. What happened? The fire gases reached their ignition temperature because of the oxygen coming in. But smoke is fuel. And this is why, this is why it is so freaking important, okay, that you close doors. Come back in and look. Look how fast we're burning now. Compared to earlier, you see, you see the difference. right? Earlier, I held my propane torch in there for how long? And now, look at what stage of the fire we're in. We're not in the ignition phase. What are we doing? We're going right to the growth phase of the fire. So we're changing gears really fast here, correct? <coughs> really fast. So, already we have the rollover. But you're seeing this from a room away, okay? We're a room away. We're hitting it from here. We're not inside. You should not be inside that environment. You're going to freaking die if you're inside there, okay? It's that simple. We got to kill that. So, a few things. I'm walking around the side of the house. I see the door open. What do you know? I close the door. How about that? We kill it just by closing the door. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Huge difference. Now we can, we can hit it with the water can and kill it. Throw some moisture in there and it's dead. So the door, we, we killed it by, now watch your smoke. Like I said, volume, velocity, density, color. Also, this time, look at where your neutral plane is, visually visually and then through the eyes of the tick look where you are on the neutral plane when i first open this okay here we go we open it see your neutral plane oh how about that not good right now it's starting to vent but look at how fast it's traveling 
fast, fast traveling smoke. Come up, come here, try to ignite. I don't ignite there. I come back in, and now I'm burning up high, but it hasn't gone back down yet, okay? So that's that whole flammable range side. We can be too rich, we can be too lean, or we can be just right. And eventually it should go back down. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna close the door. Now let's do that whole smoke is fuel thing, okay? So let's look at the smoke and look at where it's turbulent. Look at where the smoke's really, really turbulent. I open it, and there's ignition. Alright, did you see how turbulent it was? So big difference. Alright, so one more time. Look at the turbulent, turbulent smoke. Doors closed. I'm going to open it. Turbulent, turbulent smoke. I come up. And now I'm burning underneath, but I'm not going back in. So that could be the overhang of that porch. That could be the different things there. Did y'all see that? Look at our shredded paper. It's getting ready to ignite. This piece of carpet is getting ready to ignite. We're going to come back now. Watch how much our smoke has changed, okay? Watch how much our smoke has changed now. So let's do this. Let's take it away. So we take the oxygen away. Now look at the smoke behavior. Look how mean the smoke is now. Do you see how turbulent the smoke is? Do not go crawling into that, okay? Do not, do not go crawling into that. Because all it needs is an ignition source or oxygen. Now, look. See how this piece of carpet's gone? But this one's still hanging on because there's moisture on it. That shows you. That could be the couch. That could be the sofa. That could be anything that you were crawling past. So you're seeing the importance of that. Look at how mean the smoke is right now. All right. I'm going to come up. I burn underneath. And then it goes back in. So that's that flammable range. That could be the overhang of the porch. That could be the hallway. That could be them different things that you have to be aware of. And that's why it's important we use the reach of the stream. There we got ignition temperature here. See it igniting there. And now we should really be at the phenomenal thermal imaging training side of it. Okay. I mean, right now, when I open this up, it's all it's going to be to the visual eye is smoke. But through the camera, this is going to be a complete home run whenever it comes to training. Uh, not long enough. Yeah. It is still there. <laughs> all right. So now, start watching now. Watch how this blows out, okay? So watch this blow out. Here I come, under pressure, under pressure, I ignite there. It's really neat seeing that in slow motion, how it blows out. But think about how much pressure and energy and everything that's there that's causing that to go boom, okay? Causing that to come down there. So, one more time. Smoke is fuel, you're going to close doors, right? But it really shows that smoke is fuel. That's why you should close them doors. Hitting the highlights of that, why it's so so important. I open it and hey, y'all pulled up on the scene and what'd you do? You simply open the door. Okay? So here we go. Doors closed. What do we do? We simply opened it. And now we're inside there. And you know, we get the old hey, we're having trouble finding the fire. Now look at it visually. How mean did that look? Pretty mean, right? Yeah, and that's the stuff that we want to kill before we go crawling into it. We're doing a ventilation-induced flash -over. That's what we're doing. All right? No backdrops. We're not doing structural damage. We open it. Look at how mean it is. And there it is. You can, but the biggest thing is, is you can see it coming, right? I mean, that's the whole thing. You can see it coming. First thing we did is we put moisture around the door before we open it, all right? Moisture around, moisture around before we open it. And then I had my firefighter, he cracked the door, we put moisture inside. Yeah. And then we closed it. And then we continued to put moisture around it. One more time, he cracked it, put moisture in, change the environment. You see the difference in the closes. Now, that's going to ignite, yes. Fire hates steam. Did you see how much of a difference we made there? And that was just a little bit. 
And what I'm saying is there's an air track. And I'm killing this with the air track. Alright? Burning, 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 coming out. I come down lower to the air track, what happens? The moisture carries into the building. Which is which is huge, right? Yeah. Because now let's do it a different way. And I'm not saying do this. Alright? I'm saying it's a tool. It's a way to learn. See how everything's up high? Alright, so do you see how much moisture I had to use to kill that? Did I show the importance of reaching the stream? Yeah. yeah. Did I show the importance of the air track? Did I show the importance of 500 degrees? Did you see how fast we went from 500 to 800 degrees when we were doing this? Big snowball, right? Huge snowball. If you're doing it the right way, you'd be way back here, right? Working your way in, working your way in working your way in. You'd be going like this. Alright, up, down, up, down. Why up and down? The water droplets. You'd be going up, down, up, down, up, down. You know, like the book says, T-Z-O pattern. Okay, who the hell came up with that? Okay, I mean, I'm being serious. You know, I mean, look, boom. Alright, so we're hitting it, we're hitting it, we're hitting it. But you're way back here. You're not inside that room. 